tonight right we're gonna talk about are we in the midst of a men's empowerment movement so if you guys have heard have you guys heard of the red pill community mm-hmm. yeah. so if you look at if you know the matrix right the red pill is supposed to be like truth in a hard situation the blue pill is more like staying settled at where you at so the red pill community is uh, kind of about truth but about a specific truth about situations so this is a book here but taking the red pill the red pill mind frame and alpha male strategies to avoid female manipulation they're in relationships and dating so that's kind of what the red pill community is about men operating differently around and with women because of how men are being treated by women that's right right so red pill blue pill refer to a choice between a willingness to learn a potentially unsettling or life channel change changing truth by taking the red pill or remaining in contented ignorance with the blue pill should i read it again everybody clear on that yeah, we clear. got it all right so just uh-huh. to give you some background so first topic <clears throat> The rise of the incels. Did you guys hear this term? If not, that's okay. But the question is, is the rise of the incels warranted? This video here kind of gives some explanation on the incels. And then I have a couple of, um, I'm going to try to skip through it just to add a little bit more context. All right. Subjects are inaccessible, or people are uncomfortable discussing them. If you're an older guy, you better get a good job and make some more because we No one's gonna look out for you, girls. I will destroy you. You don't deserve to get laid at all! So we found those subjects in person, we rented a space in Hollywood, and invited our audience and any strangers walking by to come inside and ask them anything. Okay, uh... Hey, I'm uh, Brendio. I also go by Derek. I, uh, I'm an incel, and I'm here to uh, answer people's questions about the topic. I can start. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Time stamp here. Realized uh, <laughs> this way of thinking and you getting into this kind of research. Uh, this society. <laughs> uh, do you hate women? No. Do you have a female role model in your life? A female role model? Like um, a mom or an aunt or a friend? I mean, I love my mom. I wouldn't necessarily consider her a role model, but I do love her quite a bit. If a woman was elected as president of the United States, how would you react? <laughs> um, I don't know. It probably would depend on the, on the woman. I, I, I probably would be supportive of it, honestly. But... <laughs> Why do you say that if you don't let me ask me? I do think that, you know, men should be, women should be the caregivers and, and the, you know, the loving, supporting, and the teachers in some cases. Since women of color or just women in general have been oppressed by certain systems and other oppressed communities, especially the LGBTQ+, all those, those are, don't really fit with the spectrum that incels or you have been talking about. So why do you think your method of thought would help fix what we have today? I probably wouldn't view the things you might view as oppression as oppression. I have a feeling. Um, I would view it more as uh, how we treat children that we love. We, we control them, but we control them lovingly, not as a slave, not as we're forcing them to do things against their will. I would view it more as a, a loving domestic thing in the past. Bit off the top of my head. Okay. What do you think it is about liberal areas that create behavior in women that you think is a problem promiscuity leads to increased standards in more primitive aspects such as looks um and that typically (laughs) makes it harder for some people to find a relationship including sometimes 
good looking people. And there's guys who are much better looking than I am who are having a really hard time finding someone in a place like LA or in London or in Auckland, New Zealand, but they probably would have a perfectly fine time finding a, a woman somewhere else. So you think that promiscuity is the problem and if people were more monogamous and more um, withholding, that would sort of fix society? Yeah, I suppose people were more traditionalists. There have been a few, few mass shootings in the past. All right. So, does that provide context to the incel movement and phenomenon that is happening um, in our society today? Does that guy help you guys understand? It does for me, yeah. Somewhat. Okay. Um, so, maybe I can clarify. So, basically, it's that man, right, that we talked about and alluded to, and somebody thought, some of us thought that that, that uh, statistic that we shared of, you know, I think it was 30% of men under 30 are virgins, right? Because of what women are favoring or as desirable. And a large part of men do not fit that. For instance, the average height, and correct me if I'm wrong, is 5'9 in the United States of America, right? But what's that thing? Six feet, six figures, so on and so forth. So a lot of men fall into this category. They don't have women at their disposal and access, but the the men the men that most women are chasing are are what is it one percent of men, and all the women are chasing the same type of man, right? The same dream, you know, tall, dark, and handsome, yeah. right? And so these men, like this guy here, as you saw, you see them a lot if you really think about it, and so they saying they tired of the shit. They saying it's hard, it's difficult, you know what I mean? Because of how they've been treated and how they get looked over, right? And I don't know if that's right, wrong, or indifferent, so I'm asking the question. Is the rise of the incels, is it warranted? Because they, they tired of women's shit. <clears throat> Let us think. Adrian, you was late. All right. Let it marinate. Adrian, you could do the honor since you showed up just now. Uh, I ain't even got them my thought, but I'm gonna say, yeah. I mean, yeah. put him in the <laughs> put, put, put him in the fucking <laughs> right, mute your mic, man. <laughs> Bub, what's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I would, I would say, uh, I would say it's warranted. Uh, based off the the, 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 the I can't even speak right now. Statistics <laughs> that you gave, right? I mean, I'm not. I don't fall in that particular category. I mean, I'm five eleven, but then again, I'm fat. But, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm hella attractive, though. You know what I'm saying? So I never really had a problem. You know, uh, <laughs> like this male figure will be having. But um, yeah, I would definitely say, you know, I would uh, I would say it's warrant. It's definitely warranted. You know what I'm saying? If the majority what? of the men fall in this particular category, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because what? um. Mm -hmm. I would um, I would agree, man. Like if I was off the market right now, man, trying to please a woman these days is is difficult. Just keeping it a buck, just based off of some of the things you know that were um, mentioned as far as financial status, uh, physical features, you know, and um, basically what you know the majority of women, women are looking for. You know nowadays yeah some might front and act like like nah it ain't to that but yeah it is because now you have options so line just line us up <laughs> line us men up pick five men put somebody in there that's five nine put somebody in there that's six feet put somebody in there that's five three that makes three hundred thousand dollars a year and so on and so forth and you see which one this woman know women will you know tend to um go for it. yeah so so let me share this definition right just because i know we got a couple kind of so incel a member of an online community of young men who consider themselves unable to attract women sexually typically associated with views uh that are hostile towards women and men who are sexually active that's actually from the oxford too Isha, what you think? The rise of incels. 
Um, I'm actually interested to hear what B has to say. (laughs) 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 But, um, I don't have an opinion. I think I see it more. And me being a single woman, I can see, like, I'm very picky. Um, So I can see why some men feel the need um, to have their views. So, I don't know what else to say. Put him in a fucking bed. Get him out of here. But I want to hear what B has to say. Oh, come on. 